Over in St. Pete, Mayor Rick Kreisman says the minute the city sees a storm is forming that could impact us, the Emergency Operations Center kicks into gear. Now you may be thinking about all the flooding St. Pete has had recently. Well, he says the city is in a significantly better position now. It's invested $200 million into upgrading the system. Besides that, he says he wants everyone to prepare, not panic. So I can't sit here and promise that, you know, our city, along with every other city in the state of Florida, isn't going to have an issue. What I, what I will assure the public is we are doing everything proactively that we can do uh, to try and avoid having a problem. And then if we do have an issue that comes up, th that it is as minimal as is possible. And while the mayor stresses his crews are doing everything they can to be ready for the storm, neighbors in South St. Pete say they feel forgotten. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow is live at Lake Megory off of MLK. Emerald, this part of town floods badly when it storms, and neighbors say the city just isn't doing enough. That is right. They say that they feel like stepchildren. We're talking about neighbors who live in this area right around Lake Megory. They say when it floods, it seems like every other part of the city seems to get more attention than they get. But the city does say, hey, look, we are being proactive. I want to show you something right over this way. This pump right here. The city says it installed this pump to try to bring down water levels on the lake ahead of the flooding, trying to minimize some of that flooding. And neighbors say they hope it's enough enough to protect their property when the storm comes. Mary Robinson has lived in her South St. Pete home for more than 65 years. And it's just my little flower garden. I need to clean it out, but I, I enjoy my flowers. What she does not enjoy is this. It's every time that lake overflows, the street overflows. And with Hurricane Dorian on the way, she's afraid this beautiful lake will cause some ugly damage to her home. When that lake overflows, this goes in all our homes. City got to do something. The stormwater director for the city says they are trying. With all the rain that started in the beginning of August and the flooding that was being experienced, we actually rented a pump to start laking down, or pumping down Lake Megory to create storage in the event that more rain came. So we have that pump running continually to bring it down. The idea came after these 2016 photos were taken, but Mary says she wants more action because she just had water in her home last week. Ever since they put that dividing gate down there, water don't go over there. They had to put the machine there now to carry the water over. Yeah. They need to take that thing down, let the water flow. But until that happens, all she can do is prepare for the worst. Now if a storm come, no telling what's going to happen. And then when it get too bad, the fire trucks can't come and get you. You just have to stay in your house. A house she hopes to keep, but fears she might have to let go. So I told my daughter, next, if we come again, they could have the house. I said, I bad it have God. Now the city says it will keep this pump running for the next few days to try to bring down levels on the lake. And again, neighbors say they hope that this is going to be enough to keep them from suffering during this storm. Back to you.